Hi, welcome to this tutorial from tdcat.com. Today I'm talking about the vector scope and using the vector scope to set and check your white balance on footage. I'm just going to quickly give you an overview of the two main types of scope. So this is the, um, the waveform uh, monitor. This is the YC waveform monitor. And this is interested solely in luminance. It's interested in how bright something is from blacks here. At, uh, well, on this is, this is a PAL the PAL version actually, so from here, uh, blacks down here, that's absolute black, to absolute white up here. It's not interested in chrominance at all, so it's not interested in the colour side of things and the colour levels at all. If we go to our vector scope, now this is only interested in chrominance, it's interested in the hue and how much saturation, so the level of saturation from, from nothing here in the centre out to you know ridiculous whatever level that may be and the reason vector scope uh, the vector scope can be used for setting white balance is because well you'll know that when you set white balance you need a gray card or you need something gray in a shot as a reference and the reason a vector scope can help you there is because gray has no chrominance it has no color in it whatsoever. So for a vector scope, grey is is kind of a nothing really. It just sits in the middle here and does nothing. It has no value around the hue and it has no saturation. So it's just data. It's just basically a dot in the middle. True grey is just a dot in the middle. So the, re the way you can use your vector scope, so I've got a shot here, which is actually looks pretty good anyway, but we're going to check it all the same. And this is using Premiere Pro to, uh, 2015, so we do have some addition additional uh, Lumetri color uh, settings here uh, to allow us to do this, but you can do this with Vast Color Corrector as well. So we've got a shot here, and we've got a gray card held up here for this particular shot. And I think using a grey card in video is more important than, uh, than than photography, in my opinion, because, uh, I mean, yes, you should get it right in camera if you can, but with video, it's a lot more important because you're not usually dealing with raw files, so uh, it's a lot more difficult to make those kind of changes further down the line uh, So for, at this stage, for example. So here is how you do it. If you've got that shot, if we go to our scope now, we can see that, well... It's a bit of a spatter, isn't it? You can't get an accurate look at that. So how we do it is we go in here and we search for the crop. It's already typed in there, actually. We search for the crop effect and apply that to the clip. And you'll see that as soon as we put the crop on there, you get this nice blue outline that shows us which area we're looking at. And as you crop this down, you then only look at that area and you'll notice if you look at the, watch the vector scope as I do this it starts to become a more refined dot and you can take it down to a quite a small amount actually so that you can get a little bit more accuracy and you'll you'll see from this that pretty much the white balance on this shot is is spot on actually it's really pretty good uh, if it wasn't I'll adjust it so that it's um, so we go to basic correction on here and throw the white balance off. If it wasn't, then we'd have our dots sat somewhere around here. In this case, I've kind of warmed up the shot, so all the colors have moved over to the red and yellow side. And if I cool down the shot, you'll notice that it just moves the other way. But it's the fact that this gray that we know to be neutral gray because it's a gray card, it has no chrominance value whatsoever. We know it to be neutral gray, so that's our reference. So we can say, well, in this, it clearly has some chrominance value, so there's something not right with that shot. That being the case, we need to adjust it so that it sits bang in the middle. So let's just sort of shift this over. You notice that as that passes, it passes maybe just slightly over to one side of that center dot, but to be honest, there's very little in it. So you could say, well, the tint maybe could be a little more over to the magenta side. So if we just sort of shift the, see as, as we shift the tint over to magenta, you'll notice. So we just make, I mean, I'm sort of making minuscule adjustments here. There's probably no need to make this. We could do with a 
So there we go. Right, so we're absolutely bang in the middle. So we've actually warmed up the shot slightly, changed the tint of the shot slightly to get this absolutely bang in the middle. So now if we take the crop off, we see that we have a shot. Well, it looks nice. And if we turn off the colour, you notice know, so we've moved away. We've taken away some of this slight cast, slightly green cast on here. We've got a slightly warmer uh, shot which is more accurate to this, this grey. It's basically saying that this, this grey is now absolutely, definitely grey as far as that shot's concerned. So that's how you can use uh, the vector scope to look at your white balance and make sure that it's okay. And you don't necessarily need a grey card. I mean, you could, you, you could use something else. If we do a reset on these, and if we do take, take a section which doesn't have the grey card, and we just adjust the crop, so we put the crop in here, and we pick an area of the cupboard here, which is, it's kind of white. It's kind of cream. It's not white at all. It's sort of cream. Problem is, we know that this does have a kind of color to it. It's got sort of slightly sort of yellowy uh, color to it. So it's not going to be perfect to, a perfect area to take a sample, but it, but it will do if you haven't got anything else to go on. So if we go back to the uh, vector scope here, we could say, okay, well, we know that cupboard's a little bit yellow, so it probably does want to sit a little bit towards the yellow side. But if we if we did adjust that so that that was in the center, um, like something like something like that, then we end up with a shot like that, which actually, to me, I prefer that. So there you go. That's just a very quick tutorial on uh, using the vector scope to set your white balance in a clip.